Hello, I am Tracy Chi. I'm the author of We Are Not Free, a novel and stories about the Japanese American incarceration in World War II. Some of you might know me as a fantasy writer. I'm pretty new to this whole historical research thing, but I have to tell you, I found it absolutely fascinating. There is a story behind everything, every fact, every detail, every picture, and I wanted to share some of those stories with you. But let's start with some historical context. In 1942, the US was at war with Japan. Anti-Japanese sentiment was at an all-time high, and entire Japanese-American neighborhoods were being evicted from their homes and sent to temporary detention centers all up and down the West Coast. Most of these detention centers were poorly constructed. Some, like the Tan Foran Assembly Center, 15 miles south of San Francisco, were actually old converted racetracks. And by all accounts, they were pretty terrible places to live. A lot of the people had to be crammed into these old horse stables, sometimes a family of five or six to one stall that smelled like manure. They ate in big mess halls where they often had to wait hours just for a couple canned sausages. They didn't even have private bathrooms or private toilets, which were often just a row of holes cut into an old board. And it was here that my family was sent. My great auntie Mary was 16 when she was sent to Tanfran. When I interviewed her back in 2016, I did half of our interview one evening when she fed me and my mom her famous Chinese chicken salad, and then we stayed the night at her house. And when I woke up the next morning, she was like, I have to tell you this part of my story. I've been thinking about it all night and I have to tell you. She told me this. When Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, she was a junior in high school studying civics. Her teacher kept telling her and her fellow students how lucky they were, how fortunate to be free Americans with all of these great rights. And then she and her whole family were forced from their homes in San Francisco and sent to the detention center at Tan Foran. And she told me how she'd climb to the top of this grandstand at the racetrack and she'd look out over the city of San Bruno where all of these free Americans were going about their daily business, going to jobs, taking the kids to school, doing the grocery shopping. And she'd sit there and cry, thinking to herself, I am not free. She'd been thinking about it all night and if there was one thing she wanted to say about this time, about her years of incarceration, it was this, this moment being a teenager and feeling like she had been promised such great things by this country, you know, these inalienable rights, this bright future, and having that promise broken. I am not free. I couldn't get it out of my head. Years later, when I finally started writing a book about the incarceration, I knew I had to tell this part of Auntie Mary's story. I gave those words, I am not free, to one of my characters, Yum Yum, who's locked up at Tan Foran, thinking these same thoughts about who's on what side of the barbed wire fence. And as I was writing it, I knew. This was a book about a group of kids, young and hopeful and full of promise, and also betrayed. It was a book about what you might do with that feeling of betrayal, and of anger and hope and love for the only place you'd ever called home. I knew this had to be the title, We Are Not Free. If you'd like to learn more about what it was like living in Tanfaran, I recommend checking out Citizen 13660 by Mine Okubo, an artist who documented this period of her life with almost 200 sketches. You can also go to the Den Show Encyclopedia, a free online resource about the incarceration. They have a ton of articles where you can read about the different detention centers and also a great digital archive of documents and photographs to check out as well. I'll leave that link in the description for you. 